Pastor, what are your thoughts on Jesus Christ? Uh, what do you guys think about Jesus Christ? Oh, he's a goat. He's amazing. Uh, he's our Lord and Savior. I have this chain on, but I'm an atheist. Yeah, I don't go to church, but I do believe in him. I do like to believe in a higher power, you know? Like, I, I want to have faith in something, you know? What's going on, guys? It's Product Ministry. I'm Ace. And I'm Dylan. And in today's video, we're going to be going to the people and asking them what their thoughts on Jesus Christ are. So, we're going to be planting some seeds today. Let's pray that God brings the increase. Yes, sir. Let's get into it. Uh, so, the question of the day, man, is uh, what are your thoughts on Jesus Christ? I haven't read the Bible recently, so I, yeah. What do you think about it? Um, well, we believe that, um, you know, we're all sinners, you know, we need a savior. And, um, yeah, man, I was really down bad, man, and like, just lust, man, like, pornography, man, um, things of this world, man, and it just always left me empty, man, and I gave it to God, man, I cried out to him, man, and he filled that void in my heart. So, um, yeah, do you believe in God by any chance? Yeah, I believe, yeah, just like you. Yeah, I man. Guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, we're believers, man. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to like, you know, see what your thoughts on Christ was, and you know, I just encourage you today, man, like, uh, to really like look into the Bible, man, look into the prophecies of the Old Testament that foretold Jesus is coming, man. And whatever you're going through, man, like, He has a plan for your life, man. He wants to meet you where you are, man. If you take one step towards Him, He'll take five towards you, man. So, thank you for your time, brother. Uh, what do you guys think about Jesus Christ? Oh, He's a goat. He's amazing. So you guys are believers? Yeah, yeah, I believe. So you guys believe that Jesus died for your sins, he died on the cross and rose on the third day? Yep. So, okay, well, we're just here to encourage you guys today to just give like anything you're going through, like just give it to God. Cause he'll He'll bring you out of whatever thing you're going through, whatever you're struggling with. If you just turn to him in, in all those situations, he'll bring you out of those situations. So if you like feel like you're going through anything, just give that thing to God. What are your thoughts on uh, Jesus Christ? Uh, he's our Lord and Savior and we should go back to praying to him and everyone should go thank our Lord and Savior. Thank you. Amen, brother. That's good, man. How long have you been a Christian for? Oh, I'm not Christian. Oh, you're not? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, man, I just want to let you know, man, um, like whatever you're going through, man, you can put it on him. Man, I used to struggle with like so much anxiety and depression. Like I would always go to church with like, my, mom, my mom and grandma, but I didn't know like what having a relationship with God looked like, man. And it wasn't until like I really cried out to God, man, and he met me where I was at, bro. So I encourage you, bro, like you take one step to him, bro, he'll take five towards you, Be bro. Be very faithful type of thing, right? Yeah, man, it's just faith, man, because a lot of people, they try to make it about a religion, man, you know, about all these denominations, but yeah. Jesus came so we could have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God man so that's what I want to encourage yeah, I just you think to if anything to just have some type of faith with anything and it's gonna encourage you to do better than having no faith you know oh yeah 100 percent man well yeah bro Jesus loves you man and you know thank you for the interview what are you guys thoughts on Jesus Christ uh low-key I have this chain on but I'm an atheist an atheist okay see I don't go to church but I do believe in him okay well do you guys believe in God uh sure yeah okay so you, you believe in there's a higher power what do you mean as a like a higher power, like there's a creator of the universe. I mean, I won't, like, do you, there's do you, not, there's not like, let's say, like someone gets into specifics, I'll be like, okay, you got it, bro. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So what, I believe there's a higher power. Okay, that's good. So, what well, we believe, we're, we're believers in Christ. So we believe that Jesus died on the cross and he rose again on the third day. And by dying on the cross, he paid the price for our sins because we're all sinners. We're born as sinners. And when Jesus died on the cross, he reconciled us back to God and we're made righteous in His eyes. So we're all in need of a savior we're all we've all done something wrong so if you give your life to jesus christ he will make you whole again you you are new in christ and if you just trust him trust in him he will make your life new so what do you guys think about that i mean whenever i hear like stuff like that i'm like okay well maybe you should put some time and effort into going to church and stuff right but it all depends on your family like if your family is like very like religious you'll easily get into that but if your family's like and not like put much effort into going to church well like was like how do you get into it and then you just like have like mutual friends that are like religious and then that's how you get into it right right right, right. What I agree with what it said like for example for me like I don't have much of a religious upbringing so I just believe in him but I don't go to church and I do believe the things like that is written like by God in the Bible and all that but I wouldn't myself like go out to the church and go to church and preach God and all this yeah and that's the thing like I was never religious but I heard about what I'm telling you guys right now I heard that Jesus Christ 
saved, came to save us. He died for us. And I decided to seek a relationship with him because it's not about going to church. It's just about having a relationship with him, praying to him, talking to him because he wants a relationship with you. It's not about going to church. You don't need to go to church to have a relationship with God. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. And um, thank you guys for the interview. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. Have a good one. So what are your thoughts on uh, Jesus Christ? Um, so I'm not really a heavy religious person, but I do like to believe in a higher power, you know, like I, I want to have faith in something, you know. Yeah. I have been to church a couple times. I've been to like a couple apostolic churches and stuff, but I'm not really like heavily religious and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So you believe there's a creator, something that just, like this world didn't like just happen by like random yeah, chance. Obviously. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's true. Like it's a, like a certain degree, you know? Yeah. Okay. For sure, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, I feel like religion, man, is like really like divisive, man. And um, I get I get what you mean, bro, because like for me, bro, like, I used to go to church for all the time, like my mom, like in grandma and stuff, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. But like um, it was just always like I never really got it, man, because I always just thought of it as a religion, man. And then I was just in a really dark place last year, man, right around April. And um, I really took a step out in faith, man. And I realized that God actually desires a relationship with us, man. And because of what Jesus did on the cross, you've heard of Jesus on the cross, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So because of what Jesus did on the cross, we could actually have a one on one relationship with God. And you don't have to be held down by religion, man, but you can actually look to God as you would your father, man, as your heavenly father. I don't know, because if family has left you, man, friends have left you, man, but yeah. God, man, he he's there, man. He's yeah. always there for you, man. So um, what, is, what do you think about that? Uh, I totally believe that that's like, there's like, there's faith to that, you know? Like, you want to believe in something. I, I know, like... Uh, me like uh, I don't I haven't really had any like family problems or like yeah. uh, thing but like I know like sometimes I'd be I, I do pray like I do pray at night sometimes and I'd be like like maybe for uh, just something good to happen like I know when I have tests I know I'd be, I'd be praying you know? yeah, yeah for sure bro well yeah bro I mean like if you just look at the Bible bro like even the Old Testament man there's like 800 years before Jesus even came talking about he's gonna be born of a virgin he's gonna be pierced for our transgressions so, like all these prophecies line up and predicted the coming of Jesus, man. So if you just really look at the Bible, man, it's really just a history book of God's love for us and it's displayed on the cross, man. So I just want to encourage you today, man, whenever you're going through something, man, just look to Jesus, man. If you take one step towards him, man, he'll take 10 towards you, bro. So we appreciate the interview, bro. Yeah, for sure. I really appreciate yeah. that. Uh, what are your thoughts on Jesus Christ? Well, I go to church, so I think God is just a good person. Uh, I look up to everyone. A lot of people do. And I always try my best, even though it's hard to like, especially right now, it's hard to like follow God right now. It's always difficult because of all the temptations and all the, the sin in the world, everyone's like always called, you don't party, you're freaking lame or something like that. Yeah, I agree. There's a lot of things like in this world that's trying to lead us away from God. So it's important to be trying to get even closer to him right now because these are the times where everything is trying to take you away from him but nothing could separate you from God because God is your father he's your heavenly father and he wants a relationship with you so I feel like if you just keep trying to build your relationship with him like nothing's gonna be able to take you away from him no temptation no sin is gonna be able to take you away from him and separate you from, from him so um, I just encourage you to just keep building your relationship because it seems like you're doing a very good job so I just encourage you to keep doing that so what are your thoughts on uh, Jesus Christ uh, I, I basically think that he might have existed, but I don't necessarily believe in like the gospel and stuff like that. But. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Like, do you believe in like a higher power, like a god, something like something that created like we're, us and like the world and stuff? I mean, I think it's possible. I won't like deny it that it's possible, but I'm just kind of open-minded about it. I won't say it is or isn't. Really. Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, yeah, bro. I mean, like, I always thought of like Christianity as like a religion, bro. You know, like, I would always go to church, but like, you know, inside, like, I just like never really believed. I never took a step out in faith because I always knew like it was a religion. And like, it wasn't until last year, bro. Like, I was just smoking every day, and like, it just like always a feel like it just, I just felt empty, bro. Like, I would smoke, get high, and then come down, I get high again. It was like a never-ending cycle, yeah. and like, I just felt like really empty. So it was like, although I went to church, like I never like took a step out in faith, bro. And I really took that step out in faith, bro, around April. And God really met me where I was, bro. And I experienced him supernaturally, man. Now I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. So I just want to encourage you, man, that you could actually have a relationship with God and, you know, don't get held down by religion or what the world says, man. So, you know, how does that sound? 
Well, that's good to hear, bro. I'm glad that that he kind of helped you out with the with like filling that that place in your heart. You know, I, I think that's like a great thing about religion. I definitely think religion's a good thing, even though I'm not religious. Like, I think that's something that like it helps people get out of addictions and like it helps them find themselves in a way. You know? Yeah, 100, percent bro. The well, last thing I want to let you know with, bro, I'll leave you with is just like, yeah, bro. Like, if you ever like want to like take a step out in faith towards Jesus, man, just know like it's about a relationship, bro. Like, he came. You heard of him dying on the cross, right? Yeah. I mean, I I was I used to be religious. I used to go to church and stuff when I was little. But my family just kind of sort of fell out of the religion, and yeah, so yeah. I just and I sort of questioned it to myself. So I don't go as much anymore. But I I know about Christianity. So. Yeah, bro. Well, yeah. I mean, when Jesus died on the cross, man, like he came, like so you know we could have like a relationship with God. So like you know like, if you ever take a step out in faith, bro, just know like it's not about a religion. You know, it's about a relationship. So the question of today is, what are your thoughts on Jesus Christ? He's a very good man. God, I love Jesus, bro. Uh, that's what's up, man. So you guys believe in God? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are you guys Christian? Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, that's nice. How's your walk with God going? Good. Really good. Really good? Yeah. Okay, that's nice, guys. Well, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that, um, you know, Jesus loves you guys. And, you know, it's about a relationship, not a religion. You know, everyone wants to make it about a religion. But in reality, Jesus died on the cross so we could have a relationship with God. So, like, whatever you guys are going through, you know, you can put on him. Like, I used to, like, live for the world. I love, like, getting with girls, smoking and stuff. But, like, it just left me empty, man. I took a step out in faith to God, man. I took one step towards him and he took five towards me, man. So now I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him and you guys can do the same and you guys can encourage other people to, you know, start the relationship with God. What are your thoughts on Jesus Christ? Uh, I like him. I mean, I go to a Christian school, Catholic school I'm at, okay. and we just learn a lot about him and yeah, I, I believe in him and yeah. Right. I also believe in him. I like him. I don't go to a Catholic school, but like, I know a lot of kids that go like his school, so. So you guys would call yourself Christians? Yeah, yeah, I'm Ar Armenian Orthodox, same. Okay, so you guys know that God wants a relationship with us. It's like, it's not about religion. It's not about going to church every day. It's just about having a relationship with him, um, praying to him on a daily basis so that he could get to know you as a person. So, yeah. All, right. All right, so I just encourage you guys just to keep trying to build your relationship with him. Um, don't get caught up in the religion and you guys will be fine. Uh, first question is, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Jesus Christ? Uh, I'm actually Roman Catholic. Okay. So, you know, I do believe in Jesus Christ. You know, I think he's a good person. So, like, do you think he's the son of God? I would say he's the son of God, yeah. That's cool, man. Well, um, yeah, man, I just want to encourage you today, man, that, um, you know, it's not about a religion. You know, I know there's like a lot of denominations in Christianity, but, True. you know, uh, Jesus came, man, that we can have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God, man. So, I just want to let you know, man, you don't got to get held down by religion and stuff. And, like, for me personally, man, I was, like, really held down in sin, man. Like, it was just, like, I was always chasing for something to, like, fill that void in my heart. And then I realized that I could actually have a relationship with God, and it wasn't about a religion, man. And now I have a relationship with God. So I just encourage you today, man, that if you just take one step towards God, man, he'll take five towards you, man. So I appreciate that. I, I believe that 100% too, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's that's real right there. Awesome, brother. Yeah, that's real stuff you're preaching right there. So what are your thoughts on Jesus Christ? I mean, I believe in him. I'm just, I'm not religious or anything. I don't. Okay. Do you, do you believe in uh, God, like a higher power? Yeah, I believe in him. Okay. So do you believe Jesus died for our sins on the cross? Yes. Yeah, so we're just going around telling people like a lot of people think of Jesus as like a religion, right. but Jesus didn't come to create a religion. He came to reconcile us back to God, right. to die for our sins because we're all we're all um, sinners. We've all done bad things in our lives. Yeah. So he just he came to bring us back to God, make us righteous, appear righteous in God's eyes. So I just want to let you know it's not about like a religion. Right. It's not about going to church every Sunday. It's really just about having a relationship with Him, praying to Him, yeah. praying to God, and just having a relationship right. with Him. So. I just wanted to let you know that. So thank you for the energy. Bro. Wow. Successful day. We got a lot of people, got a lot of souls, did a lot of evangelizing off camera and on camera. So we'll see y'all in the next video. Yeah, Firehawks out, sir. Oh, my angels keep me safe. I hold my